Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I created this look for you guys. If you want to see how I created this look, keep so watching. Today I'm going to start off by using a mix between the Rimmel London Last and Radiance Concealer and the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 and that is in fair. I'm getting into like the recording mood so I recorded and put a video up last night which I will link below. Just carving, carving around my brows. And then just patting the rest on my lid. Now that that's done, I'm just taking the Rimmel concealer and I'm just going round the top of my brows just to cover the spots. And I'm just going back in with that same concealer brush and I'm just blending this in. Today I'm taking the P. Louise palette, I'm going to take as we have a 230 brush and I'm going to take the shade contour and I'm just going to put this in to my, like where my crease is and just taking it a tiny bit above. So once I've done that, I'm going to go in with the shade Martini and I'm going to take my MAC 221 brush and I'm just going to go in and blend that shade out. Now I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics 101 brush and I'm just going to go round the edges to make sure it's all blended out. So I just go back in using the brushes and the shades just until I'm happy with the way the the way the eyeshadow is. I am applying the shade Bestie with as we have a 234 and this is even darker so I'm just pushing this in to like my crease so I can blend it in. Going back in and blending that out. Right, so I'm going to dip into my Carnival palette and I'm going to take the shade Foolish and I'm going to take another big fluffy brush and I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that on and I'm just going to buff round the edges. I'm just going in using the same base as I used under my eyeshadow to cut this crease. So I'm just going in. And I'm just kind of placing a tiny, tiny bit of concealer just to show kind of like where I want it to go. So I won't talk when I'm doing this because I need to concentrate and take my time. But 
der Eating auch mein großer Swimsy. I just take my bean finger and I just like to pat the edges as you can see there. As you can see it just kind of blends it in a wee bit. But just kind of blend it in and like keep looking at both of your eyes to make sure they're kind of even. Then I'm going in with Bestie and I'm just taking a tiny bit on my like very outer corner. And then I'll take that same shade and just blend it. Blend it. I'm going to go back in with the shade martini and just very lightly go like over the edges of that just so you can see this all will get blended into the pigment but just so you can can I see the thing now getting it down the bottom because I do want the pigment to come out towards the edge of the spotlight at the top so I do finish pack it in at the bottom. I'm taking my start of two MAC pigments it is rose and vanilla with some of the pigment and I'm just pressing it on Nice and slowly. Today I'm going to be taking the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara and I'm just going to coat my lashes. And I forgot how nice it is. While you're away on my lashes drying, I'm going to take the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate Oil. Holy Grail. I, I think I spoke about this and I just dropped it on my hair. I spoke about this in my last video, this oil, I'm sure. And I love it. So I just like to tap it all in. Nice and make sure it is everywhere, and then I'll rub my hands together and I'll just pat it in. I am just going to pop off and put my lashes on, and I'll be back in three, two, one. Nice. Revolution 25 hour coverage foundation and the Tarte Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter, just so I'm a bit more glowy. So I just like to pat this foundation into my skin.
so I'm just using the Bimmel London Lasting Radiance Foundation and I'm just putting that under my eyes. I'm going to go in with my actual Lomer Concealer in NC40 I think it is. I'm using the Azoeva 109 brush to blend that out. I'm now going to go in and bronze with a Revolution Contour Palette. I'm then going in using Hula Bronzer just to deepen up my like, cheekbones. on my forehead. Now I'm taking the RCMA powder and I'm just setting my face. I'm now going to take the It Cosmetics Julian brush and the highlight out of the Tarte's Make Believe in Yourself palette and I'm just going to put this on my cheekbones. A little bit on the top of my eyebrows, my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit here. Then I'm going back in with the shades I used up above underneath. I'll go in with the fluffier brush and martini just to blend it out. And I'm just putting the same mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel and I'm going to set my brows. Well, I'm going to go in with the MAC Lipstick and Widow It again. And I still don't have any lip liners, so I'm just going to take my time. And then I'm going to take a NYX, NYX lip, my lipstick, and dust till dawn. So this is the finished look, I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did give it a like, if you're new here subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I post a video. Alrighty, I need to get the now, I don't even know why I started recording. Going. I'm actually still recording.
what the heck is wrong with me? I want to go out tonight.